Oh. We're going to start with a bit of a political scandal, the bugging of the former president phone. That's right. Former President Nicolas Sarkozy's conversations with his lawyer Thierry Herzog were tapped by judges who were investigating his alleged, the alleged financing of his 2007 presidential campaign by former Libyan leader Muammar Gaddafi. Le Figaro's front page headline reads, Sarkozy tapped the lawyer's indignation. And it notes that the lawyers who are up in arms come from across the political spectrum. Its editorial does, however, point the finger at the current government, saying that Nicolas Sarkozy has been subject to extraordinary judicial pursuits, possibly to sideline him from a comeback mm. in 2017. The editorial says it's hard to believe that Interior Minister Manuel Valls or Justice Minister Christine Taubira were not aware of a former president's telephone conversations being listened to. Le Figaro also interviews Corinne Dreyfus-Schmidt, who is the president of the French Association of Criminal Lawyers. She denounces the violation of lawyer-client secrecy and a heavy-handed approach by judges in a case that doesn't involve organised crime. And she says that the law should enshrine protection for lawyer-client relations. At the moment, she says the situation's not exactly the Wild West, but we're not far off it. All right, that's quite dramatic it words there. Um, some of the French newspapers, well, you already mentioned some ministers uh, having the finger yep. pointed at them. Uh, other papers joining in with this as well. That's right. The pro-business daily L'Opinion sees it as part of a wider campaign of state repression. Its headline is, How Far Will State Violence Go? It denounces abuses of every sort, among them taxes and laws attacking fundamental civil liberties. One of those is when uh, Giudonné saw his, uh, the comedian saw one of his shows banned by Interior Minister Manuel Valls. Now, though the article talks about the state, it's really a thinly veiled critique of mm. the ruling socialists. And to illustrate the piece, it uses a very famous graphic from the May 1968 protests, which is a reappropriation of left-wing imagery by a right-leaning paper. Yeah, the word violence, quite violent in itself in it their usage indeed, there. Because yes. we're not talking about actual violence, yeah. but yeah, they mean sort of forcefulness and heavy handedness. Exactly. Well, of course, um, we can look on the more left leaning papers as well. Uh, they're kind of saying Nicolas Sarkozy part of the same problem. Exactly. Uh, the left wing L'Humanité, which is uh, associated with the Communist Party, is also appalled, but it's appalled at Nicolas Sarkozy. And it says that the, the actual the case of the um, of the phone tapping shows that we actually France has not turned the page on quote Sarkozyism, and it says that Sarkozyism has damaged the republic and the hopes of its citizens. But it also says that this uh, Bonapartist temptation camouflaged behind the colours of the republic is an old story in France, and it concludes that another type of governance is needed that will offer something more than the promise of survival in the jungle of capitalism and finance. All right, a right old left-right Barney Nothing going less. on there, isn't there? Let's move on to international matters, uh, yeah. making the French newspapers. Ukraine still an enormous story. Absolutely. Liberation has it on the front page with the headline, The Battle of the East. Uh, it reports that the provisional government is now turning to the hated oligarchs for help in the battle against Russia. These are the very same oligarchs who were subject to so much scorn uh, at the Maidan protests, and they were very close to depose Pre President Viktor Yanukovych. Now, the current government has uh, offered two uh, governorships to them. One of, one of them, the, the country's richest man, Renat Akhmatov, turned down the governor, uh, the chance to be governor of Donetsk, but he did say that uh, East Ukraine is Ukraine. Now, this is from a man who was formerly very, very close to Viktor Yanukovych. So uh, Crimea has more or less forced uh, Ukraine government's hand on this matter. OK, an interesting angle on the Ukraine story there. Thanks very much, Oliver Ferry. Right Back on. a little bit later on with a look at the international press as well. For now, though, we're going to take a short break here. But do stay tuned for our special focus report coming up in the next half hour from our correspondent in Greece investigating the prison hospital in Athens that inmates say is human landfill. Stay with us for that. <laughs> 